All right, well, my number two game of the year would be Mario Wonder. As we said, we're going to come back to it. Um, you know, Katie said a lot, a lot of stuff onto it more than with her saying. But for me, it's like the way that they did this game is like every time you go into a different stage, and it just, it's just cool. I mean, right now, you can see like you're walking in a wall like that, like changing it from side to a top-down view. That's pretty cool. And they did a good job of it. And then a the part like is like the, you know Nintendo was smart enough uh, when they're doing the developers part they were like saying hey we're gonna um, they, they came with the idea to have a mushroom do it but again we know how the little kids are <laughs> you can't do that so you have to be so they did seed mushroom seed turn into a seed and they had a fun and I just like that when Nintendo have um, the time to get in um, to develop these games. They do a great job of developing a lot of these games, so that's one of the reasons I like like one that I had fun played it. They did a great job. Like look at that, like hit the power block and then do like all that is just imaginative. And a lot of I remember a lot of people was like, so my brothers, um, what was it? The maker they were like, oh, they don't need, they don't need for no 2D no more. I'm like, nah. Let's, let's have less Kaizo inspired levels, please. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's like, let's think, I mean, you got, there are people who have, who have, who have made creative levels. No if ands about that. But I'll go with the people who've been doing it for years, if you don't mind. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's fair enough. That's good. it is. I, I'm happy. I like when Mario Brothers, um, you know, they did on the Switch. They can basically, what do you call it? Put, you can make your own levels of full world and everything. That's cool and good, and that's for those people. But yeah, this now, nah, nah. I leave it to the I leave it to the professionals. Not against people like that, but here you go. Nintendo came back and gave us Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Smart name, smart num naming. All the power ups are used the perfect way with the elephant. Giving all and then, and then the next thing I like about it is from the new Super Mario Bros. to this, I like the new art direction. Love the music, but I like the new art direction, the new expressions. The new way that they turn Mario like kind of 3D, th like half towards the screen when he's it's a Mario and all our characters, and they're very expressive. I like yeah. that. It's it, more it, expressive and not like overpowering with colors and stuff like that. It's just it just feels right. Yeah, they did a good job on that, and that's what I like about I like about it. So really good game. My number two of the year. I am happy for the, for this game. So. We're gonna have um, jump to honor honorable mentions. Let me see if I get up to um, that, which is right here. Romeo, his his honorable mention is. So my honorable mention is Power Wash Simulator, and I know this game is extremely chill, but that's why I like it so much. I am a League of Legends player, and as most League of Legends players are known for being ex extremely sweaty and toxic. <laughs> so sweaty and toxic. <laughs> that's yes. most League of Legends players are known for that. I can't. Sweaty I cannot babies. confirm nor deny if I am like that. But <laughs> it is great to get away from all of that, take a break from all that toxicity, and jump into a game of just power washing and cleaning. It, <laughs> it's just so relaxing to just have to just. Not even like have to focus too much on skill and managing things. It's just where is the dirt? I get to clean it, and I can clean it no matter how, no, in any which way I want to. This game, I fell in love with this game so much that I even thought of getting my own power washer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much to power wash in my own apartment, but you know, I feel like I feel like I could I could just <laughs> do some cleaning myself. And again, like I said, if we around after after spring, you come on down and use my power washer. Hey. I have no problem with that. You can wash the house. I got, I already got all the chemicals and everything, and mine is just plug and play. So you could. All right then. <laughs> so you could just come and power wash the house because when pollen down here, pollen gets. It wasn't bad this year, but this was one of the years where it wasn't that bad. Yeah. We've known this year is when it's just walking out in yellow. You're oh, like, yep. And you're like, what in the world is that? And it's just pollen. I'll get my mask, get the, the suit, and I'll power wash for you. <laughs> so, power wash is yours. Uh, Runner-up for, uh, for Katie is basically um, 
your one up is Final Fantasy XIV. Um, the only MMORPG that I've stuck with because of my fear, my arachnophobia. Can't really play most of them, and then other games, they don't really hook me as much, but my friends got me into Final Fantasy XIV. This is a game that I've been playing for a couple of years. Uh, Yoshi P brought it from, you know, when it first launched, it was a it was a dumpster fire. It was bad. It was very very bad. But Yoshi P, Naoki Yoshida decided like, hey, once they brought him in, we're just gonna redo the entire thing. So that's why Final Fantasy XIV: A Realm Reborn, you know, came into fruition. And this year is its 10 year anniversary, actually, of it, like actually being reborn. And it has I put in way too much hours in this game <laughs> and it's gonna continue to be I'm gonna continue paying the sub for it because I still have fun with it but really love the story love the art the characters you know different classes just everything about this game uh, I just love it and I'll continue playing it until they decide like hey we're shutting down the servers yeah yep and the thing about this which is pretty good is like I said um, we are basically, we are for, for our Christmas gift, she got a, a capture card, Ooh. so you're going to be seeing maybe this game and then you're going to see our other games on there too, because again, remember we have a new, we have a new part of our channel called Game and Chill, where you might be commenting, you might not be commenting, but you're just going to be playing live streaming on Twitch, which you which, which Twitch, you have her Twitch channel on there, but also on Endo channel, YouTube, and you, like I said, sometimes it'll be audio, sometimes it might not be commentary, but that and... Maybe she will get it down for the Fantasy 16, because that is a game I want to play for PlayStation. Yeah. The, everybody said it's a really good thing, and after playing Tales of Arise that I'm playing right now, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I want to jump into that as well. So I do like a good action fighting game. I will wait until fan, until all. I think I'll wait until all three Final Fantasy Part Seven parts comes out. So I'll just have so it will be less broken. That's just me. Just just one thing. Just one thing, continuous. well, I think it's gonna be some, it's gonna be a key plus all the blah 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 yeah. blah. So, ain't gonna be a difference, it's gonna be a download somewhere. But I'm gonna have all of it together so it just keeps on going and just that. And then by that time, they should be able to patch up what happened in the first one and the second one. Because yeah. as I see lately, a lot of PlayStation games the first come out need patching, and yeah, yeah, even, even guess Spider Man just Spider Man 2 came out and they needed some patching there too. So yeah. But that was her. That was her uh, honorable mention for her, for me. And then a game. And our mention, mention goes to games that we played. And I played a lot of this game this year as well too. And still far to go, which is Ring Fit Avengers. Again, I'm happy that Nintendo came back. They said Wii Fitness was good. I think they're not good for a lot of people, but I'm happy that that came. And they say, hey, let's do a Ring Fit, whatever. And this is up to the next level. It's literally. You're exercising, you are working out. If no if as a but this will work you the heck out. But and you will sweat. But also it, it is it is really gameizing exercise. This one ring um we fit was okay and you get it because you see the numbers you're doing it for this literally gameized the, the, um, the fitness. Yeah. It really does. Cause you know everybody have like a punching game and a boxing game. You're doing that and that's all good, but is the this is a whole RPG itself story along with it yeah story weapons changing clothes article like this a whole situation it did and I like doing it because the the, the um it is just the just, just the activity because again it's exercise which I use it for but I still like it for the fun and get the bones moving get the muscles a little warmed up and, and pumping sometimes so they did a great job of game ice in this game and I like it very much and that's one of the games I played a lot last year I mean this year I should say this year so that's why I, I, got, I gotta get out of a mention because again in the pandemic this thing is just like um New Leaf is it New yeah Leaf? no horizon from New Horizon this also sold like mad because yeah. the pandemic, because everybody was like, oh, man, well, stay in the house, you can't go to the gym. So it was like, because I remember seeing like w WWE guys doing this on their channels and stuff like that. I was like, good grief, you got big guys like trying to squeeze and do it. Like, y'all living with 50, you know, 250 pound people and all that stuff, and y'all aching, hurting me right now. So, and the thing I like about this game, really, I 
as well. Mm. It, you can play your own way. So yeah. like for me, I didn't play the adventure world of this game. I went straight to the mini games yeah. and like some of the rhythm games that they had. Mm. Five mini games and I was on the couch and I could. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I got you. So basically, it's no reason, of course, you will send the screen. Number one, our game of the year, basically, funny for, for enough for all three of us, is of course Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Because it's just, uh, they did a great job of doing this. And yes, we made no jokes, but hey, it's not a $70 DLC for all people who be always saying this like that. It's like, no. This is, Nintendo flushed out this game. Yes, it is. It does have, um, what do you call it? It does have, you know, um, <clears throat> the same map, which is not, I, that, I always kid me like it's the same map. So what? If you give me enough stuff to do in a map, I get it. Because again, a lot of the time, programming games, and I've seen it myself, programming games from when I went to, when I went to Nintendo and other places and stuff, Ubisoft and stuff, it's not easy to get some of the stuff you know coded perfectly without having the time as we saw on all the other consoles them they rush stuff yeah so that's not good but to for the physics in this game in breath of the wild and in this game a nintendo habit and it works and there's no loading screen yeah yeah no it, i mean you know what you want to know but you, you i can walk through a door i mean i'm paying tears of the rise of the playstation 5 i walk through a door you gotta load you walk through a door, walk through a cave, nothing. Go go from the sky to the depths, nothing. Yep. Yep. The only, the only loading is going to be when you fast travel, but yeah. that's expected, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like you see, you're going into a cave right there. They just get in there in the cave, and you keep on chucking. Yep. That's what, well, that's what this game was in. But for, 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 for you guys. I mean, game of the year for me, because I'll... I love Breath of the Wild. I love the story. I loved all of what they've done. It was innovative when it came out in 2017. Yep. And the fact that they continued on with this this engine added so much in the depths and yes. also in the sky yeah. along with I mean, I, I came back because my boy Ganondorf is back. <laughs> get some backstory on evil man, yeah. but the you know the, everyone's like the story is just the, I, I still enjoy the story still enjoy seeing the different like the, the gerudos the ritos the zoras all, i still enjoyed everything about this game and the fact that you know even the building the new mechanics is like i'm not really a builder but you know i still had fun like the with this game just like breath of the wild you can still play it your own way regardless you can get yep. by without building as much at yeah. all which i've done because of <laughs> thinking i got you nah that that the good part about it not only just is the building that's creating is good as well too and the deaths like i said add, adding on two more layers on top of that layer of just breath of the wild which back in 2017 was like wow and it got a sky part and to also add a um the depths. the depths which is crazy big and, and then you gotta figure out certain things and everything that is crazy and like i said um like i said to draw this the people i was talking about draw distance and stuff like that again people don't understand what i mean draw distance means when I mean, you can see all, all you could draw your eyes all far, far away this has draw distance don't let other people fool you with that because again i said you could you gonna see in the video maybe not but you've seen if you play the game you see the dragons far away all the way in the sky and you're like well, that's something moving yeah you're not gonna see the detail because that's what not our eyes don't do that either yeah yeah oh yeah you look up and you see a plane after it gets to a distance it's gonna look like something moving but it's not gonna look like when you're gonna tell hey is it a four engine plane two engine plane what it's gonna just look like, like a, a, a simple shape that's what our eyes do and you better believe when you see a dragon in the distance you know exactly which direction to go for because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those dragons have some, some yeah some um what is it like the scales and everything you can yep. get off of them that rare yep <laughs> yep that's that's what it is too so what about you what are you for how did this for you honestly this game i had way too much fun with it I, it hit every checkbox for me the one thing i didn't like about um these this kind of game was the fact that my weapons can break because you work so so hard to get that one weapon that does so much damage and then you see that message saying oh this damage is going to break soon it's like 
I don't want to use it anymore. But the fact that I can fuse weapons and get other and get weapons that are like that or that yeah. kind of damage, yeah. it it just it, it it checked everything for me. <laughs> I I played so much. I, I as soon as I got the game, I actually ended up somewhere where I shouldn't have been. <laughs> Didn't get a cutscene, and I realized that oh. I have to talk to some people first because I just completely missed them. But the fact that I didn't even need to talk to them first, I could just get where I needed to go to. Mm -hmm. And then to actually start the mission, just talk to them, I already knew my route and everything. So I kind of just sped run up to. <laughs> it was in the first village you had to go to, basically. Well, you can go to any village at the first, as a yeah. first one, but one yeah. of the first villages. And man, it. <sighs> That's Everything very concerned. Yep. Very <laughs> concerned. Yep. I am because I'm still trying to figure out the, 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 the you know, get around the whole of um, the, not Hitano. What's the the Ikes, the Emperor's Village? Yeah, Kakarika. Kakarika, oh. like get all of that straightened out and everything too. Yeah. Again, I have not touched none of the ma base ga the, the main game except for like the start and one of them. I went to one of the temples and I have to say. That sky temple, the temple for the for the for the, the thunder. That one, getting up there, I was like, holy crap! It was a little pain in the butt. I was like, all right, but again, my point is, they told the story, they make you go through it, and you had to get up there. So I like how Nintendo did that. Again, we know they did. They, they, we got the DLC for this, and they said they were they were going to do. Um, what's they gonna do? They're going to do a. Um, they're gonna go away from this kind of style of yeah. gaming, which again, I get that, and I understand that. But hey, I gotta shout out to the Switch. The Switch has a lot of Zelda games. It has again, if you go, if you if you ever played the the, the 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 Oracle games, they're on the Nintendo eShop. You can get them. Uh, but you would get also um, Skyward Sword. You could also get Link to the Past, and that's a remake. And then. You got Breath of the Wild and Breath of the, uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Um, it, it was no, it was not, it, this was an easy game of the year easy for us. Yeah, yeah. I know everybody will be talking about you know they talk about you know um, other stuff. Um, Starfield, no. <laughs> I don't I don't like broken games, so I I'm not gonna do that. And again, I get I give I don't venture. I mean, I haven't played a game. I ain't gonna play it. Baldur's Gate three. People had fun. They said that's a really people good game. Had a lot of fun with the game. Yeah. I'm planning on since it won game of the year for the VGA. The, the, yeah, VGA. I'm planning on buying it. Okay. Um, so I'll probably <laughs> next year if I return. It might be my game of the year. I got you. <laughs> but I'm just saying Friends that are like obsessed with. Yeah. It. So I give those. I'm not. I'm not that kind of crazy with that kind of stuff. But they had so many good games this year. I mean, we, there were other games that we could have called out that was good. Kirby's Triple Deluxe. You got yeah, that. Um, again, for me, another one would have been um, Adrian Card Chronicles, the first game that the hundred years is coming next year. That one, it looks like it's gonna be like I, said, I played the first one with the three main heroes. That was fun. So, and it's just we, gaming still has its problems. Yes, but hey, we're this going. It's pretty good. This it's just, was really yeah, good for games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for those who had high hopes for certain games, I feel bad for you. But hey, like I said, it made no sense for us. But for and basically for all of us here, Tales of the Kingdom was our game of the year. We'll see what happened next year. So again, hope you guys out there enjoy. Down below, just hey, you know, you know what you do. Just tell us what your your top five was. And I don't know, mention if you want to. And I guess I might do a video just to say, you know, talk about that in the future. But with that said, you know, there's no perfect games out there. What's perfect to you is not perfect to me. What's perfect to me is not perfect to you. Simply enjoy your game on all consoles, including PC. Peace out. I see the dragon that far away. That's what I'm saying. You just, you gotta draw this. Yep. <laughs> all right. We'll catch you next time. You see two of them. It's two. Oh yeah.